Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening, and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Michael Germain. Three people are in custody after a convenience store burglary attempt leads to a standoff. The Houston County Sheriff's Office received a call around 2 this morning about a burglary in progress at River Station in Brownsville, Minnesota. Multiple agencies arrived on scene shortly after. Following a one-hour standoff, the suspects were arrested. They are 36-year-old Joel Cruz and 21-year-old Hannah Goyette, both of Caledonia, as well as 27-year-old Harley Culp of Green Bay. The Town of Campbell Police Department is warning residents of increasing vehicle entries. A map shared by Campbell Police Department shows 17 locations where entries have happened. Officers say the majority of vehicles' targets are left unlocked. They're reminding people to lock their vehicles when they are left unoccupied. If you see something suspicious, you can call the non-emergency line listed on your screen. A lacrosse quick trip is getting funding to install electric vehicle charging stations. The quick trip on West George Street is one of more than 50 locations selected for the funding. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation is distributing more than $23 million in federal grant funding around the state, all for the purpose of developing EV stations. The lacrosse quick trip will receive more than $300,000 for the project. Other regional projects include one in Toma and Eau Claire. A conservative University of Wisconsin regent will not step down when his term ends this month. Robert Atwell was appointed to the board in 2017 by former Governor Scott Walker. Last Monday, Atwell sent a letter to University of Wisconsin President Jay Rothman, says he won't step down. He said he will stay in the role until he chooses to resign or the state Senate confirms a successor. In 2022, Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled political appointees don't have to leave their posts until the Senate confirms their successor. A conservative parental rights group says it will spend more than $3 million on advertising before this year's presidential election, and Wisconsin is one of its main targets. Moms for Liberty says it will focus on voters in the Badger State, as well as those in Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina. The four are some of the most important presidential battleground states this year. Moms for Liberty has faced backlash recently for its efforts to strip mentions of LGBTQ plus identities and structural racism from the classroom. Good evening there, folks. A couple of evening showers, but those showers will be dwindling as we head towards the midnight hour and then going into the wee hours of your Memorial Day Monday morning. A couple more showers and some thunderstorms on your Memorial Day afternoon. There will be some dry time, but there will also be some wet time. So prepare to have a shelter to dodge any one of those afternoon showers and storms. And good news with cool temperatures to start the week, which is pretty refreshing. We're going to turn warmer by the end of the 10 day period. Let's plan the rest of your night. Temperatures going down through the 50. We'll start off Memorial Day Monday 52 to 54 degrees with sunny skies with those clouds are going to fill back in rather quickly during the afternoon with some scattered showers and afternoon thunderstorms. One or two of those storms could be on the stronger side from lacrosse and points to the south. Then Tuesday another chance for some afternoon showers. Then we stay mild Wednesday warmer by Thursday and a warm and stormy pattern active weather pattern as we carry on further out into the 10 day. There will be some dry time Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday going out into the following week, but there will also be some wet time with temperatures at or above normal for this time of year. Thank you for that, Alex. The Kickapoo Valley Rescue Squad hosted their 51st annual pancake breakfast, continuing a cherished tradition that brings the community together for great food and fellowship. Breakfast was complimentary for all attendees. The event's goal was to raise funds for a new ambulance, which is estimated to cost between $250 and $300,000. Free will donations were also accepted. One member of the rescue squad emphasized the urgent need to upgrade their ambulances, noting that one of their vehicles is 14 years old. We want to make sure we can get to our patients, that we can get to them safely, and we can get to them with the best care possible. And so um, we're currently fundraising for a new ambulance so that we can, and can upgrade and, and make sure we can get out there on the roads to the community. Breakfast was served to 160 people. Participants also had the chance to receive free blood screenings. For all the car enthusiasts out there, the story is definitely for you. The car show was held at the Onalaska American Legion as a fundraiser for the Freedom Honor Flight. The event featured local car clubs, including Cooley Classics and the Tri-State Four Club. 
Although the show usually has around 150 cars, heavy rainfall limited this year's attendance to just 25 vehicles. One member of the American Legion emphasizes that fundraising is at the heart of it all. Oh, just doing the fundraising for uh, community. That's, we do a lot of displays and fundraisers similar to this. Last year, $1,800 was raised, and this year, they are hoping they can break even. Millions of Americans are traveling this Memorial Day weekend with record surges in the nation's airports and on the highways. But severe weather is also causing major issues in critical transportation hubs, and storms are now blamed for at least two deaths. Bradley Blackburn reports. Severe storms hit the nation's heartland Saturday. In Kansas, homes obliterated, trees snapped like twigs. In Texas, a pen twisters touched down with dangerous storms hitting near Dallas Fort Worth overnight. On I 35, semi trucks blown off the highway. In Denton, fire officials reported major damage with some victims trapped in the debris. At the key Dallas Fort Worth airport, hundreds of flights were delayed and dozens canceled. The FAA is working round the clock this weekend monitoring the storms with record numbers of Americans traveling for Memorial Day. The TSA reports that Friday alone, more than 2.9 million people passed through security checkpoints, the highest number ever recorded. All weekend, passengers have been feeling the crush. It's chaotic here. It's, it's absolute chaos. On the roads, more than 44 million are driving for holiday getaways, flirting with a 20-year record. Everywhere, the rush is on to crowd the beach and kick off the unofficial start of summer. The travel wave is just beginning. U.S. airlines say they'll fly 271 million passengers this summer, up more than 6% from last year. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. According to Flight Aware, there were more than 5,000 delays or cancellations across the country yesterday. The TSA expects another rush Monday as all those travelers try to get home. Coming up on News 8, Americans are holding on to their cars for much longer. After the break, find out what's leading to this. Senator Baldwin says, I'm not from Wisconsin. But this was my childhood home. Graduated East High. Became a Badger in 86, where I've had my company for over 20 years. And this is where we live. It's our family home. I'm a fourth generation Wisconsinite. It made me who I am. If Senator Baldwin's not gonna be honest with you about where I'm from, what makes you think she'll be honest with you about anything? I'm Eric Covdy, and I approve this message. My understanding of painters that I followed is that they pull from things that are important to them. Combination of nature, <laughs> urban texture, urban noise, connectedness to the arts. is something that really feels me into Duluth. I like to look at paintings and films that make you feel crazy. They make you feel alive as a person. You know, we're crazy, we're alive, we're contrary, and that's the way that I like to paint. That's how I like to live story of a kinesiotherapist who rehabbed his golf game. I love golf. I have always played golf. Until he started having some mulligan-level foot pain. Well, the, the golf game starts down with the feet, and if you don't have good support, you probably won't have a good golf swing. So he got fitted for good feet arch supports. It made a world of difference. Any advice for your fellow linksmen? Two words, the good feet store. How many words is that? <laughs> Try them for yourself with a free fitting at the good feet store. It's Ford SUV season. Time to get out there and take on adventure in a whole new way. Start with great offers on Ford Escape, Explorer, Mustang Mach-E, and Expedition. And experience Ford Blue Cruise hands-free highway driving. Available on select vehicles. It's Ford SUV season. Let's get going. Now get your favorite Ford SUV with financing as low as 1.9% for 66 months. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Americans are holding on to their cars longer. An analysis from S&P Global Mobility shows the averages of cars and trucks on the road rose to a new high of 12.6 years old. That's two months more than last year. Prices for new and used cars soared during the pandemic but have started to ease. Capital One and Walmart are calling it quits. Both companies have announced their deal that made Capital One the exclusive issuer of Walmart consumer credit cards has ended. The partnership started in 2019. Despite the divorce, 
nothing changes for customers who can still use those cards to earn and redeem rewards. And the rewards that were already accrued are still valid. Capital One is retaining ownership of the accounts. Walmart will give more information to cardholders over the next few months. Online grocery delivery service Amazon Fresh is trying to get you to add a little more to your shopping cart. Friday, the retailer said it is cutting prices on 4,000 grocery items. U.S. shoppers will reportedly see daily discounts of up to 30% on items in store and online. The markdowns will rotate weekly. Meat, seafood, frozen food, dairy, and beverages are among the products that will see price cuts. The discounts apply to both national brands and Amazon's private label products. And you could possibly save even more. If you're an Amazon Prime member, the retailer is offering an extra 10% off certain items. Amazon isn't the only company slashing prices. Bread, milk, diapers, and thousands of other household staples are getting a price cut at Target stores. The company lowered prices on roughly 1,500 items and will add more discounts in the weeks ahead. The move comes after Target revealed sales are down. And this airline is going to the dogs. Bark Air caters to canines. One-way ticket prices for one dog and a human companion are $8,000 for an international flight and $6,000 for a domestic trip. The company flies to New York, Los Angeles, and London, but plans to add more routes, including Paris and Chicago. Coming up on News 8, caffeine consumption. 25% of parents say their kids drink caffeine every day. Stay with us. That's up next. Every day, we get to know more about California multimillionaire Eric Hovde, a CEO whose bank makes millions at our seniors' expense. Hovde's bank even owns a nursing home being sued for elder abuse and wrongful death. No wonder Hovde said most seniors shouldn't vote. Listen. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six-month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Eric Hovde, a California CEO we can't trust to look out for our families. Win Senate is responsible for the content of this app. May is Maytag Month in Menards, and we're passing savings on to you with the largest in-stock appliance selection. Find the best prices on Maytag appliances. Save over $850 on this Maytag Volcano Black laundry set after rebate. Champion Power Equipment provides durable and dependable generators and inverters. They're great for camping, tailgates, and keeping your family safe during power outages. Save over $100 on this portable inverter generator after rebate. Save big money at Menards. No, we'll never have to walk alone. Life happens. When people hit bumps in the road, Family and Children's Center is here to help. FCC offers mental health support with 20 different programs. Support for hurts, heartaches, and hardships. Because life happens. Contact FCC Outpatient Therapy at FCCOnline.org. No, we'll never have to walk alone. We'll find our way back home. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Can mental health disorders be transmissible and a possible link between COVID-19 and lung disease? Natalie Brand is some of the week's top health stories. The COVID pandemic also caused a rare condition to surge and led to the deaths of nine people. Researchers with the University of Leeds say COVID can trigger MDA5 disease, a condition which causes the immune system to attack itself. Now that the connection has been identified, doctors should be able to more accurately diagnose the rare disease. 25% of parents say their teenagers are drinking caffeine every day. 
According to the University of Michigan, soda is the top choice, followed by tea and coffee. Some health experts recommend a maximum of 100 milligrams of caffeine a day for teens. That's about one eight ounce cup of coffee, but the survey found one in three parents thought the limit was higher. And are mental disorders transmissible? A study in Finland suggests they can be in some cases. They found that young people with mood, anxiety, and eating disorders often are part of social networks with friends who also have mental health disorders. But researchers say it's also possible the connection happens because young people are more likely to seek mental health treatment if their friends struggle with mental issues. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. New lab experiments have found milk from cows infected with bird flu can be detected and raises questions about pasteurization. The research posted online in the New England Journal of Medicine looked at milk from four infected cows. Over five weeks, the raw milk stored at refrigerator temperatures had less virus in it, but it was still there. Heating the milk at a low temperature for a long period of time, known as vat pasteurization, resulted in undetectable levels of virus. Heating the milk at high temperature for a short time, known as flash pasteurization, reduced the levels, but it didn't inactivate the virus completely. Flash pasteurization is the most common method used in the United States, but commercial processes added a preheating step that wasn't part of the study. Researchers say that would make it harder for the virus to survive. What kind of rainy conditions expected throughout La Crosse today? And with that, let's send it over to meteorologist Alex Harrington for a look at our weekend weather forecast. Good evening there, folks. We will have some evening showers, but they should be ending by the time we get later into the later evening hours going into the wee hours of your Memorial Day morning. But your Memorial Day itself will feature a few more showers and a couple of pop up afternoon thunderstorms. Then we'll warm up later next week. It's going to be kind of a cool start to the upcoming week. Planning your night tonight. Temperatures dipping down through the 50s. We'll wake up with partly sunny skies to mostly sunny skies at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning with temperatures right around 52 to 54. Again, those shower chances dwindling as we go on into the evening. But as we get the heat of the day and Memorial Day, we could be looking at a couple of pop up showers and thunderstorms, especially for areas from La Crosse and points to the south into northeast Iowa, southwest Wisconsin. There might be just enough energy for one or two of those storms to get severe. Hail and gusty winds would be the main threats if we do get any of those showers and storms to pop up. We can see that with future track here. Most of those shower activity, La Crosse, Eau Claire, and points off towards the east at 5 o'clock on Sunday, with maybe a line of showers and thunderstorms developing near Madison. That scoots off towards the east. East. Again, partly cloudy skies starting off to mostly sunny starting off here as we start off your Memorial Day Monday with temperatures 52, 53, 54. It's in the afternoon. We see those pop up showers and thunderstorms pretty widespread across much of the upper Midwest. There will be some dry time, but there will also be some wet time. So be prepared on your Memorial Day to be able, have a shelter to go to if one of those showers and pop up thunderstorms happens to visit your neighborhood. As we go into the evening, those showers and storms, they fizzle because we lose the heat of the day. Low temperatures again, low to mid 50s to start off your Tuesday. Then we climb back up into the 60s. Cool still on Tuesday with a couple more pop up afternoon showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two. We see that here with our rain chances. We'll take a look at these bar graphs here. There's that Sunday chance that we're going to kick on out of here during the evening. There's that Memorial Day chance as we go into the afternoon. Again, there will be some dry time, but there will also be some wet time on Memorial Day Monday. Then I looking behind here as we head out later into the 10 day period, we'll bring those rain chances as we head later out into that seven to 10 day forecast going way out in the next 10 days. There's still that chance of decent amounts of water here anywhere from one to two inches across the area with any of those bouts of showers and thunderstorms that occur on Memorial Day Monday and then again on Tuesday and then as we head into the end of the 10 day period we will see more shower and thunderstorm chances which we will take out there because the extended going out into June brings drier than normal conditions to the upper Midwest so let's keep going with the rainfall activity and warmer than normal temperatures for much of the country so we want that shower and thunderstorm activity. Again, temperatures cool to start off the upcoming work week. Then we turn mild and warmer as we head towards the end of the 10 day period with on and off storm chances. Thank you for that, Alex. Coming up in sports, a look ahead to game three of the Western Conference Finals. And the Brewers trying to end their weekend with a sweep. Kate is the highlights when we return.
Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Hey, Dad, look. Us. This isn't magma chamber. Like uh-huh. This isn't us, is it? When did we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? She's not answering. What? And when our phones have turned us into this, LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. <laughs> and let's find us again. U.S. Cellular, built for us. When patients want to address their smoking or vaping, doctors refer them to smokefree.gov for free help. Chat online with an expert. Build your plan to address smoking, vaping, or chewing tobacco. Sign up for free texts from people like you. Doctors know they go at your pace. Visit smokefree.gov. That's smokefree.gov. Smokefree.gov. People of another age, yep. Howdy doody time, the Ed Sullivan Show, the Mickey Mouse Club. You remember, getting in and out of that tub just isn't quite as easy as it once was. We make life easier for older folks like me. New walk-in shower, a personal shower, a seat if you like. Seriously, be safe. Call the board store. Let us make your bathroom safe and beautiful. Contact the board store today. Get ready to witness the thrill of a chase. Ramlinger Collector Car Auctions invites you to join the excitement. Save the dates, May 31st and June 1st in Winona, Minnesota. Experience the electrifying atmosphere as classic cars go under the hammer. Visit RamlingerAuctions.com to learn more and secure your spot. Be part of the action. Be part of the crowd. Join us and be part of the excitement at Ramlinger Collector Car Auctions, where passion meets performance. Visit RamlingerAuctions.com for more details. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. What a weekend for the UWL track team. Yesterday, the men were crowned national champions at the Division III Track and Field Championships. The women took second, and the Eagles had a couple of sprinters steal the show. First, I wanted to highlight the former Logan Ranger, Lauren Jarrett. This was in the 4x100 relay, and she made up a ton of ground to give the Eagles the gold. But her day was just getting started. The 100-meter dash, Jarrett well in front, takes first in 11.7. And then in the 200, Jarrett neck and neck, but the sophomore pulls ahead for her third gold medal of the weekend. Jarrett dominating the sprints. And she wasn't the only one on the men's side. Sam Blazowski going for his third straight gold in the 100 meter dash and Blazowski was cruising 10.24 on the wet track. He would also win the 4x100 and the 200 as well. As we close in on June, the Brewers are still at the top of the NL Central. They've got a big series against the Cubs starting tomorrow, but today they were looking to sweep the Red Sox. Let's go to Fenway Park. Brewers down one in the fifth inning. Two men on for William Contreras. Contreras stays hot. He singles up the middle. That scores a run. This game is tied at one. Eighth inning now. Red Sox with a runner on second. And Jaron Duran singles into left. That scores a run. And that would be the difference maker in this one. Brewers don't get the sweep as the Red Sox win two to one. Brewers host the Cubs starting tomorrow. Twins also going for a sweep. They were up against the Rangers, but the defending World Series champions weren't going to make it easy. With a man on, Corey Seager going to take Pablo Lopez deep, a two-run shot. Rangers in front later in the game. Now 4-1 to one Rangers, and Seager is going to add another one. This time it's a solo home run, and the Rangers, they go on to win this one 6-2. to two. Twins taking on the Royals starting tomorrow. As the college baseball season comes to an end, that means the Northwoods League is about to begin. It's already opening week, and the Loggers have a game tomorrow. They're on the road for the first two games, but as you see on the screen on Wednesday, they're making their home debut, and if you can't make that game, they've got home games Wednesday through Saturday, so a lot of action. And then tonight, it's game three of the Western Conference Finals. The Timberwolves have their backs against the walls down two games to zero to the Dallas Mavericks. And 
If they don't win tonight, they are in trouble. No NBA team has ever come back down three to zero, so they're going to need a win. Tip off set for seven o'clock. All of highlights tonight. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. During Holmes Memorial Day sale, get an extra 10% off sale prices or no interest financing for three years. Plus, get hot buys like this two-piece sectional for $9.99 or this queen bedroom suite for $7.59. The Memorial Day sale at Home Furniture. Plus, shop homefurniture.com every day. Duluth is this cool, relatively cosmopolitan small city, close to wilderness and a giant lake. It's cool, every neighborhood has a trail and every neighborhood has a certain flavor. That to us is really, really important, to embody the region in our food. It's so amazing when you create something and someone tries it and they say, this is the best sandwich I've ever had. And just watching that, it makes you realize that that's exactly why we do what we do. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures, like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Right now at Homeworld Rugs, get 15% off area rug sale prices with many different patterns, sizes, and shapes to choose from. And area rug experts in every showroom to help you find the perfect rug. 15% off area rugs at Homeworld Rugs. We know there's many places you could go for local news, weather, and sports. But we're humbled and honored that you made News 8 Now your number one choice. You expect more, and so do we. Thanks for watching. Good evening there, folks. Shower and thunderstorm activity on your Memorial Day Monday is expected, especially in the afternoon hours, with more shower chances on Tuesday. And then as we head out further into the 10-day period, temperatures will warm back up and we'll have on and off storm chances. I want to thank you all so much for watching News 8 Now this weekend. We'll see you right here at 10.